Hey what's up guys it's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 14 of Skilling to Glory. This is the second upload of the day so if you haven't checked out episode 13 yet then uh, yeah make sure to do that first if you uh, if you haven't already. So uh, we're starting this episode off by buying uh, a new home kit and a new away kit. The home kit is the, uh, the home kit from Atletico Madrid and the away kit is going to be the FC Porto home kit. So um, then we go into our team and we change the team up a little bit because um, I really wanted to play a bit more defensive instead of uh, just going full skill. So I decided to sell on the Ronaldinho in the uh, center defensive mid spot and put uh, Hernanes there instead because he's a bit more defensive. So we also picked up a new Ronaldinho in the center attacking mid and yeah after we done it we decided to join the champion shield tournament and we come up against a quite nice Mexican side with uh, with a bit of silver players and gold players and we start off with a nice through ball to Wallison who goes one on one versus the goalkeeper. I tried to do a ball roll past it and then shot which you can probably see but then look at this it's quite clumsy stuff going on and uh, we make it 1-0 quite early in the game then we have uh, Carlos Eduardo on the ball here there's some few skill moves and a nice pass there to Jobson who gets the ball back Burba spin inside and uh, we pick up a free kick and now uh, we're gonna take that one with Ronaldinho who steps up takes a shot and I think it got deflected but it was an uh, easy save for the goalkeeper then a through ball from one uh, from a uh, Jobson to uh, Wallison, but it gets cleared by uh, one of his defenders. Not really good, but we pick the ball up with the uh, Jobson. Does a few skill moves, does a rainbow flick and a weird volley, but gets saved and another save from the goalkeeper. So we're in the 58th minute with uh, Wallison on the ball. Does a uh, ball roll drag back. There's a through ball to uh, Carlos Eduardo who tries to chip the goalkeeper but a relatively easy save by his goalkeeper. Then we in the 59th minute with Ronaldinho on the ball with a few skill moves. Tries out the long shot but an easy save for his goalkeeper once again. Then we pick up a free kick with uh, Filippo Luiz on the ball, passes it to Ronaldinho who uh, does a few skill moves to get past his defender. Does a uh, uh, drag back. It cuts inside as a weird shot but uh, yeah once again a quite easy save from his goalkeeper because the shot wasn't the best. Then a throw ball to Jobson who outmuscles his defender and uh, he does a ball to a fake drag back. Cuts inside with a scoop turn. Does another scoop turn to cut inside but gets blocked by a defender. So um, yeah. We're moving on in the 86th minute with a through ball to Carlos Eduardo and he makes it 2-0 in the end. And uh, yeah after we done the uh, nice celebration my opponent decides to rage quit and like I said in I think a couple episodes ago it's not really smart to uh, rage quit like before the game almost ends like three minutes or something because it's quite stupid because it would affect your DNF but yeah we go into the quarterfinals guys and we come up against a Brazilian team in the 4-3-3 formation and we start off with Wallison on the ball and a great save from his goalkeeper then he tries to clear the ball we uh, pick the ball up with Hernandez does a fake shot tries a shot from outside the box but a great save from his goalkeeper then we're in the 17th minute and he does a through ball to Alexander Pato he goes one-on-one -on -one versus the goalkeeper it's his first chance and and he scores quite early in the game. Then we pick up a free kick with Felipe Santana. And as you can probably notice, I aim to Luis Gustavo, who's right in front of me. But what happened? He passes to Alexander Pato. And this is such a frustrating thing in FIFA because it happened before for me. It happened in FIFA 11, FIFA 12, and FIFA 13. And it's still in the game. And it's so annoying. But luckily, we uh, didn't concede like I usually actually do. But we pick the ball up with Ronaldinho, does a few skill moves, through ball to Jobson, does a uh, fake shot in between the two defenders, and he does make it 1-1. So we are basically back into the game, and uh, as you can see in the replay, quite nice goal from Jobson, who uh, does make it 1-1. So um, oh yeah, like I said, we're back into the game. And we're in the 30th minute and uh, we get a goal kick, Jobson picks the ball up after some uh, bad defending from my opponent, takes a shot, wasn't really the best and an easy save from his goalkeeper and then he takes a shot with Fernandinho and Jefferson completely messes up there. I don't know why he does that because it he could have saved it easily but yeah we're 2-1 down we go into the second half try a shot with Carlos Eduardo but goes wide then we're in the 15th minute with the Ronaldinho on the ball does a few skill moves and uh, cuts inside the box, takes a shot but a great save from his goalkeeper and then once again we get another chance with uh, Jobson on the ball, does a chop inside, takes a shot, rebound from Ronaldinho and another save from his goalkeeper and it actually auto switch was which was quite annoying. But then the worst thing actually happened, look at this, double tramp goal and he scores with Pato and I mean this is probably the frustratest thing that could happen in FIFA. I mean, 
scoring a tram goal with a Brazilian team. I mean, why? Just why? It's so annoying. But yeah, we get a chance with Ronaldinho and yeah, it just goes wide. I seriously had zero luck in this game. Look at this through ball from uh, Fernandinho to Osvaldo. Who controls it really, really easily. Uh, he goes inside, past my defender. Passes it to Pato, who passes it across once again to Danilo Diaz. And scores with his weak foot. And I mean, how do you actually manage to get the ball into the goal like that with your weak foot? It's just beyond me, seriously. This game, like I said, I had zero luck. But then I get lucky with Jobson, but again, not lucky here. Couldn't finish it off. Then we get a corner with Ronaldinho. Uh, try to head it in, but... Uh, yeah, my opponent goes on a counter-attack with Danilo Diaz on the ball again. There's a through ball to uh, Pato, but again, the auto-switching. It's so annoying in this game, and he makes the 5-1. And yeah, it was pretty much game over. It already was, but yeah, it was seriously game over. Uh, we get a chance with Ronaldinho, but a great save from his goalkeeper. And that's how this game ends. We lost in the quarterfinals 5-1 against a Brazilian team, and <laughs> I was really, really annoyed. So uh, I changed up to the 4-5-1 skill team, went back to the divisions and we come up against a uh, Bundesliga team in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. And we start things off with uh, Pato here on the ball who uh, goes inside the box. He does a fake shot inside and I actually thought that I would get a penalty here because he clearly got fouled there. But yeah, it probably wasn't enough to, uh, to get a penalty. And then look at this insane through ball from Mikitarium to Shakiri, and that was actually worth a replay because those through balls are actually really nice. And uh, yeah, he makes it 1-0 quite early in the game. And uh, yeah, we pick the ball up here with Pato. He does a through ball to uh, Pato again from, uh, I do believe, Ben Arfa. He uh, does a fake shot to a Ronaldo chop. Tries a shot but gets blocked. And my opponent goes on the counter-attack here with uh, Mikitarian on the ball. Then uh, Kabul does some nice stuff here, nice tackles there. Through ball to Tarapt, who goes 1-1 -on -one versus the goalkeeper. And he makes it 1-1 -on -one right before the first half ended. Then we're moving on into the second half where uh, Jetson picks the ball up. Takes a weak foot shot but unfortunately goes wide. Then it's my opponent on the ball here who does say a 1-2 pass with Ramos and Mikitarian. Ramos makes the run. Mikitarian passes the ball to him and he makes it 2-1 in the 71st minute which was a quite nice goal and uh, then uh, in the 80th minute he picks the ball up with Mansukic and he does an insane finesse shot from outside the box and uh, he makes it 3-1 actually so uh, yeah within 10 minutes we were uh, two goals down and uh, yeah it was quite annoying so a through ball to Pato who goes 1-1 -on -one versus the goalkeeper but a great save from his goalkeeper there we pick the corner up Header from Cahill gets cleared of the line. We get another rebound, but unlucky there. So, um, yeah, we're in the 90th minute with Pato on the ball here. Passes it to Ben Arfa. Passes it across to Tarapt. Does a really nice pass to uh, Pato here. And uh, he does a fake shot inside. Does a nice stop and go. Borrow to fake shot. Nice bridge there past the player. And he makes it 3-2 uh, makes it three two in the 90th minute, which was a quite decent goal, as you can see in the replay here. Some nice skill moves going on. But unfortunately it wasn't enough so um, yeah my opponent uh, kicks off he passes it back to his goalkeeper. The referee blows on his whistle and that's how this game ends. So we lost the game with 3-2 unfortunately. It's also how this episode ends guys. Um, I hope you did enjoy despite me ending this episode with a loss. But yeah um, I try to get another episode out tomorrow. If not then that will most likely be on Sunday. I will have a compilation out on Monday which is nice so you can look forward to that. But yeah once again hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.